But I'm going to do two tricks. Can I do a couple of things for you? Is that all right? Angie, um, come a bit closer because I need both the two, the two girls here, okay? Would you take that pin from me? Don't get it on your clothes. It'll never come off. And Louise, can you take that pin from me? Angie, can you sign those four jacks wherever? And in the middle there, are those four fours. So I can sign it on the top? Well, well, yeah, yeah. You do it the same on each card so we can keep an eye on your signature. Right, just the signature. Yeah, just on your phone number, that's all right. <laughs> yeah, right in the middle there. I get lots of fellows give me their number. Thank you. Now, when you were at school, didn't you do Joy Dub Lighting? <laughs> uh, I can see that. Now, I am. Uh, <laughs> unbelievable. Watch very close to here. I'm make sure my pockets are empty. So, these cards have been signed. That's fair dues. Am I right? So, watch this. The cards have been signed. Don't keep your eyes on this, Louise. Look. Am I right? Watch, watch the handling. So, we've got the four of clubs the four of hearts, the four of spades, and the four of diamonds, with your writing on it. I'm going to leave the fours in the middle of the mat, and the jacks, I'm going to put one jack in each pocket. So, the jacket clubs goes in my jacket pocket here, with your writing on it. Yeah. The heart goes here, that leaves the spade and the diamond. I'm going to put the spade in that pocket, and the diamond in my inner jacket pocket. Is that fair? Yeah. So on the table, we've got the fours. Now what's going to happen in is the fours are going to switch places with the jacks. Yeah. If I get this right, would you go wild with applause? Yes. Okay, we'll look over here. There is now the first jack. <laughs> look, I'll do it again. There is now the second jack with your writing on it. So it's two jacks and two fours. I'll do it again. There's the third jack. Three jacks and one four. And hopefully, I've now got all four jacks. But thank you. But I could go further, because you're probably wondering what's in my pockets. Well, up here should now be, there's a four there. With your writing on it, a four there with your writing on it. A four with your writing there, and a last one, oh, hang on, in that pocket down there, there is the last four. With your writing on it. Brilliant. That wasn't the one you asked about, was it? I'll do the other one you asked about. I've got charts everywhere. Watch this. I'm going to take out a prediction card. Uh, Louise, that does with you, can I? Uh, I'm going to use this one here. That's my mystery card, my prediction card. I'll leave it right there. You keep your beady eyes on it, won't you? When I say beady, I don't mean they are beady. <laughs> yeah, how to win friends and influence people, you know what I mean? Okay, so keep an eye on that, won't you? Uh, so, Angie, I'm going uh, to take out a four of a kind here. I think I'll use... I think I'll use the queens for this. Yeah, I'll use the queens. So I'm going to ask you to choose a card in a minute. I'll leave these right here. Can you reach into the deck? Take any one you want. And then sign your name on the face of it, okay? Oh, it's already... Now, what's your card, the five of diamonds? Don't, don't let me see it. Take anyone you I'm want. Sorry. I, I, I know, I know. Every now, have, have a look at it. Don't show me. Okay. And sign your name on the face of it. Will you do that for me? So next time we see that card, we know it has to be yourself, your card, just you your writing it. Would you mind recapping the pen? You never know. So don't forget I've got the queens over here. Now, watch this. The Queen of Spades goes under the card, okay, under, remember that? The Queen of Clubs goes above it, above the mystery card, the heart and diamond with a pen on top. Is that fair? What's on top at the moment? The Club or the Spade? It's hard to follow, isn't it? I'm going to go and do something amazing. I'm going to switch them. Do you see the switch? I don't mean here, I mean over here. Because now over here, I've got the two black ones. Which means over here, I've now got the two red ones. Do you remember the mystery card I put that there at the beginning? <laughs> so that happens to be your sign for your clubs. Oh, that's just amazing. Oh, come on. Very good. Yeah. What a group. It's unbelievable. It's like working for the old folks' home. <laughs> These are ancient cards. These are so old. Derek remembers you when he was a young boy, OK? Well, he doesn't mind me saying that. Four very old cards. Now, do you know about three cards, four card Monty? Gambling. I've got three blacks. And a red card. The red card is the money card, the one to watch. I'll start by leaving one of the blacks in my pocket, which leaves the red right here. Now keep an eye on the red card. Keep an eye on the red card. Where is it now? Nowhere. And this is where you start losing your money because it's not on top, it's not on bottom, it's not there. The red one is here. Now, there's two ways of doing this with applause or the way we're doing it now. I'll do it again, okay? Make an old man happy. 
Are you happy? I'm very happy. very happy. Look, there's the English humour. Look, there's the red one on the top. Quite sure it's the order. Where does that bring the red one? No, it's on the top. I'll do it again. I'll put the red one on the bottom. Where's the red one? It's on top. So I'll put the red one in my pocket. In fact, so you can see, so the camera can see, there's the red one. That leaves the three blacks here. One, two, three blacks, and the red. The red goes to the bottom. Where is the red? Too late. Let's have a look. It's now a black one. That leaves two blacks and a red. I'm right, aren't I? Would you put your money where the blacks are? Yeah. No? These are all red. <laughs> colours. Um, when I was a young lad I went into the magic shop, asked to see the four jacks trick and the guy showed me the four jacks and he said one by one without any moves they're going to turn face down in the packet. So there's the first one, look at that. First jack, that is the jack of clubs turned face down without any moves. All he did was like this, the second one turned face down and there's the jack of diamonds. Without any moves he showed me that now he had the jack of spades and finally there is the uh, jack of hearts. I said, it's a good trick, but I don't like blue back cars. I said, can you do it in another colour? He said, I can do it in red for you. There's one, two, three, four. I said, can you do it in another colour? I can do it for green for you if you want, but make up your mind, son, as quick as you can. Yeah. Hey. It's a real quicker, you really easy to do, and that's a tenner. Nice. You alright then? You're so, listen, watch closely here. Been, they, these all cards have been signed. Fair. Right. So there's no duplicates here, nothing at all. Uh, what's close to here? Four of clubs, yep. four of hearts, yep. four of spades, and four of diamonds. I'm going to leave the fours in full view on the table, which leaves here the four jacks. Now watch close to here. Jack of spades goes in that pocket, is that fair? Hearts goes here, which leaves the club and the diamond. I'll put the club in this pocket and the diamond in the jacket pocket, is that fair? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and that leaves the fours on the table. Okay. The magic is this, I'm gonna switch the cards, so I end up with the jacks here, and the fours in my pockets. The first one's already gone, Regan. There's the first jack. Second one. Two jacks. So I've got two jacks and two fours. Here's the third one. Three jacks. And hopefully it's a huge round of applause all four jacks. Oh, isn't it? Well, you're probably wondering what's in my pockets. Like I told you, there's a four there, there's a four there, there's a four there, and there's a four, hang on, oh. Yeah. It's strong, isn't it? Very nice card, these. Got four very old, you filming? Hopeless, get on with it, woman. Honestly. Why do I live in here? And that'll be home That'll be, I'm going to keep that in there, you know. <laughs> don't you? Um, four very old playing cards. These are ancient. You'll recognise these, John. Yeah, sure. Um, you changed them. Change them. <laughs> I've got three blacks and a red. The red one is the money card, the one to watch, okay? Keep an eye on the red one. I'll start by leaving one of the blacks in the pocket, which leaves the red between the other two blacks. It's protruding, but you can see that, can't you? Yep, definitely. Where's the red? Now where? You're not too sure, are you? But look, I can tell you, it's not there. It's not there, it's not there. It's actually in my pocket up here. Thank you. Thank you, John. Now look, look there is the red. Watch closely. If I move them around a bit, where does that move the red to? Bottom. No, it's on top. Look, if I put it open on the bottom, where is it now? Oh, it's on bottom. It's on top. Look, to make it easier to follow, I'll leave the red in my pocket. In fact, I'll leave it that way so you can keep an eye on it. Hey. Look, no, that leaves one, two, three blacks and a red. The red goes to the bottom, where's the red? Mm. It's on the top. If I leave the red on the table, would you put money on it? You shouldn't because it's actually a black one. Now that leaves two blacks and a red, so if I ask you to find the two blacks, the odds are better, aren't they? Where are they? Uh, middle and... Well, middle. They're not actually, because these are all red and that's why you never win. Thank you, and that's, you end with... That's clean, that's... Watch this. Now this is interesting, this is. I've got five blue cards here. One, two, 
three, four, five. Five blue cards. They're all the same. They're all uh, uh, ace of spades. One, two, three, four, five. Now the magic is this. I'm going to mix them face up and face down. One, two, three, four, five. Is that fair? Watch this. If I take this ace here and snap it, the magic has happened because these have now all turned face up. Now you don't look remotely impressed, but do you remember the colour of the backs? Well, not anymore because I've got orange, green, pink, black and red. <laughs> Thank you. I've got five um, blue cards here. One, two, three, four, five blue cards. These are all the same. These are all ace of spades. And here comes the magic. I'm going to mix the face up and face down. So face up, face down, face up, face down, face up. Is that fair? Watch the handling. If I take one of the aces and snap it, as if by magic, these will now come face up. Pressed. Do you remember the colour of the back? Blue, blue. Well, no, I've got orange, I've got black, I've got pink, I've got green, and I've got red. Not a blue one inside. But I can go further. I want to ask you a question. Do you know what that is? It's not an artwork, it's a genuine photograph. That is a rainbow caterpillar. That's a rainbow caterpillar. And I've got four of them. One, two, three, four rainbow caterpillars. Now, what this is the story? The rainbow caterpillars, one by one, go to sleep, they go to bed. The first one I can turn over and he goes to sleep. The others will go by magic, okay? By magic. One by one, they go to bed. Here's the second one. One by one they go to bed, there's the third one. And one by one they go to bed, there's the fourth one. Now after the cycle is finished, what do rainbow caterpillars turn into? It's butterflies. And there's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four. Four butterflies.